everyone so this video today is going to be about how you can implement outside the online environment or on the job experiences through your e-learning courses so rather than just having your user read content on screen and do different activities on screen we really see the importance of getting your user to do things outside of that environment because practicing and doing things um, in real life can add so much benefit and it can really support people on their learning journey. So we've just come up with a few ways to do this and we've been implementing it in our projects. So I thought I would share it with you so you can use it for your projects. So let's get into it. So number one is on the job experiences. So you may have heard of the 70-20-10 model and basically that model says that 70% of our learning comes from on the job experiences. Um, and you may have noticed when you're learning something new, it does really help to get in there and actually give it a go. Um, everyone learns in different ways, but the more practice you have at something, the better you'll be. So within our e-learning modules, we have tried really hard to incorporate real life experiences for our learners. So this is an example of a real life experience that we wanted our learner to have. So this is an induction module that we created and rather than just giving our inductees all of the content and information that they needed to start, whilst that is important, we really wanted them to get out there and experience the environment from themselves and learn from it um, through experience. So this quest is an example of sending our user out into their environment and getting them to interact with the real world. And it's as easy as setting up a quest on a screen so you can just um, get them to do a certain thing. And it could be, for example, if you want them to meet with someone for a coffee and find out information through social learning, um, you could just get them to book out a time in their calendar and that could be an activity that's implemented through that e-learning module. So that's just one example of how you can do this, but have a think about with your learning what sort of experiences do you want them to have and what are they learning about and is there an opportunity for them to do that in the real world? And if there is, set a challenge for them to do that. Another really big part of learning for people can be the social part. So in the 70-20-10 model, 20% 20 of it is social. And that's about learning through other people, learning from, um, could be your supervisor, a colleague, a mentor, whoever it may be. You may even think in your life that you've learnt from a certain person that's shown you a lot. And this can be in a really effective way of learning. So a way that we implemented this into one of our e-learning modules was it was for a health and safety course for groundsmen at a school. And rather than getting the groundsmen to sit on computers and complete the module online individually, we created a module which you can see on screen now that encouraged the groundsmen to come together as a group and have discussions around certain topics. So the module was used as sort of a group activity and it allowed people to learn from each other, share their experiences with each other um, and also let the learner know that they have something to give to the learning experience as well. It's not just us telling them, everyone has their own experience and it was an awesome way to get them to share that with each other. So that's an example of how we've incorporated social learning and you can do this as well. It could be a module that can be individually completed but there could be parts of the module or a separate component of the learning that could involve uh, a whole group completing something together or discussing a certain topic. So just before the video ends, I'd love for you to think about where your learning has come from. So did it come from a formal um, e-learning module or did it come from speaking to a mentor or a supervisor and having that social learning or was it through on the job experiences where you actually got to practice certain things and get out there in your environment to give it a go? And when you're um, developing your learning solutions and designing how it's going to look, really try to tap into um, all of those different components and allow your learner to have a lot of different experiences. Um, everyone learns differently and it's a really great way to give everyone an opportunity to learn the content in the best way possible. So it allows them to try it for themselves, to learn from other people and also have the, the content that they need to learn it. So next time you're creating an e-learning course or designing a module, have a go at implementing real life experiences in it or getting them to do things as a group. And yeah, you will hopefully see the benefits of that change in the way that you design learning. Just before I go, it'd be awesome to hear how anyone else out there is getting their online learning experiences out into the real world. It'd be really cool to hear how everyone else is doing it out there. So 
If you have any tips or you're doing something cool or working on an awesome project, we would love to hear about it. Please comment below. And awesome, I hope this added value to you and have an awesome day.